past lives. Perceptions act like a log of everything that happens to us. It is a little like a cine film, but with the addition of all our sensations, smell, taste, sights, sounds, touch and emotions. People who have near-death experiences sometimes go through this log, and it is then called a past life review. They feel as though they have relived their current life again with every event and action. Nothing is missed. So that is one type of past life experience. Their current life flashes before them. But there are some people, principally young children, who remember a previous life or even lives. The first video we have in our playlist, the boy proved that he was a pilot 80 years ago. Nobody believed him, but the story was confirmed. Is a description of a child who recounted a past life as a fighter pilot, shot down in World War II. The child had nightmares and recounted with astonishing accuracy the name and circumstances of the pilot. The dangers of the past life experience. The next video in our playlist is by Sadhguru. Can some children remember their past lives? Sadhguru confirms that children are able to have these experiences up until the age of four or five. He specifically says that up until they are about five, they belong to God. The past lives they remember are usually those where the end of life has been unexpected, possibly violent, and accompanied by trauma. If a small child has nightmares and terror from a past life, there is every reason to attempt to resolve it. But he warns against deliberate attempts to find out past lives from curiosity alone. The video will explain why and we will add to this at the end of this video. Religion, Past Lives and Reincarnation The existence of past life experiences has resulted in a belief in reincarnation. Reincarnation, Buna Janman, is a central tenet of the Indian religions namely Buddhism, most Hinduism, Jainism and Sikhism, where it may be called transmigration, paganism, Celts, Picts, Norse, most indigenous tribal and shamanic religions, and including Roman and Greek religions, including Pythagoras, Socrates and Plato. Judaism, sometimes overlooked both by Jews and by students of Jewish tradition, is Gilgul a concept that is described in great detail throughout the Kabbalah. The word Gilgal comes from the Hebrew root meaning to spin. The soul in the Kabbalistic view spins onward through a great many bodies, striving after a higher form of perfection. Although the majority of denominations within Christianity and Islam do not believe that individuals reincarnate, Particular groups within these religions do. Cathars, Alawites, the Druze, Rosicrucians, and the list of groups who do continues Neoplatonism, Orphism, Hermeticism, Manichaeanism, and Gnosticism. Christianity once had reincarnation as an accepted doctrine. Shirley MacLaine I'm all over that and other confessions. 
I learned of the Catholic ecumenical meetings held in Constantinople in AD 553, where the teachings of physical re-embodiment, reincarnation, were struck from the New Testament on orders from Empress Theodora of Byzantium. She single-handedly erased our spiritual history. So a study into the phenomenon is very well worthwhile. Past Life, Perceptions and the Higher Spirit There is a part of all of us that is immortal. The Greeks even referred to it as the immortal soul or daemon. In other cultures it has a vast number of names. Atman, I-Self, Buddha Nature and so on. We have a video on the Higher Spirit providing a very simple explanation of what it is and does in the playlist. The Higher Spirit is the custodian of our perceptions, this log of activity spoken of earlier. Reincarnation is the belief that the Higher Spirit passes from physically existent form, what we term life, into purely spiritual form, what we call death, over many cycles. In effect, we do not just have one life and go to heaven, we cycle round and round in a sort of wheel of existence. Life, death, life, death, life, death, and so on. The theory of reincarnation states that the higher spirit and perceptions survive death. Nothing ever gets wiped out. Omar Khayyam, Trubayat of Omar Khayyam. The moving finger writes and having writ moves on. Nor all thy piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all thy tears wash out a word of it. We are our immortal soul, together with everything we have done and thus experienced in physically existent form. The theory of reincarnation then states that there are as many past lives, segments in the log or chapters in the scroll as there are periods of physical existence. This higher self or immortal soul is born with a new body and a new personality suited to what it is and what its role is, its destiny, on this incarnation. Resurrection is then defined as the return of the immortal soul to its former body. Remember that this belief is all based on the past life recollections of these very young children. Past life therapy and regression, birthmarks and illness. Carol Bauman was very ill and sought a past life regression to understand why she might have her problems. This next video in the playlist is about her experiences, her discoveries, and the fact that the discovery helped her to heal her and her family. The video is also about the connection between body memory, illness, and birthmarks. It is an excellent video, as it is clear from the evidence Carol presents that recall of a past life during childhood can have an exceptionally negative effect on health. This is also a lead-in to the three videos of Dr. Ian Stevenson on the findings of his research covering several thousand case histories. Dr. Ian Stevenson and Dr. Jim Tucker Altogether, we have four videos from Dr. Ian Stevenson describing some of his case studies, and there is one from Jim Tucker. This may seem overkill, unless you realise that Dr. Stevenson spent his whole academic career studying this area and meticulously collecting case studies. By the time of his death in 2007, and over a period of 40 years 
in international field work, he investigated well over 3,000 cases of children who remembered past lives. We also have a video in the playlist by Dr. Jim B. Tucker. Dr. Tucker worked with Ian Stevenson before taking over upon Stevenson's retirement in 2002. As such, the evidence for the existence of past life recollection is almost undisputed. But the big and an answered question is, is this past life theirs? And we will look at this now by using our model of the mind. What is happening? To explain what we think is happening, we are going to use a model of the mind and walk through the explanation using this. Perceptions are the basis of memory. And the same perceptions go to our higher spirit. Remember that perceptions are a complete record of everything we have done. Sensations and emotions and spirit input. A very young child or an adult undergoing therapy effectively either has no memory because it has not formed one child or has cut out the chatter of memory the adult if sensations are also kept to a minimum the child or adult under therapy gets a spiritual experience and it is likely to be quite a strong one so a past life is some form of spirit input and we know from all the evidence that it is genuinely a past life of someone, fragments from the perceptions of someone, because the research has shown that the person they often recall existed, and that someone is not the person they are now. But is this someone them? In other words, have they the same higher spirit? Same higher spirit or different higher spirit? We know from the evidence that our own immortal soul has provided us with the past life of a personality other than ours via spirit input. But does that past life actually belong to our higher spirit? Or has our higher spirit wandered off and found another higher spirit? dead or alive, with perceptions that seem to match our prayer and brought those perceptions back for us. In other words, this is not our past life, it is a past life. One is reincarnation and the other is a form of telepathy, with a spirit accounting for child prodigies. Reincarnation if it is our past life, then the log of perceptions looks like this. The higher spirit, our immortal soul, holds together the perception records from numerous lifetimes when we are each time a new personality. This is reincarnation. The belief that a personality is created by the higher spirit suited to the role the person will play during the period we call life. When the person dies, the higher spirit continues in bardo, meaning a time between lives, then reincarnates with a new personality and a new life by being born. Telepathy If the past life is not ours, it may belong to another higher spirit who ended their life suddenly, or traumatically, or with unfinished business. In mythology and folklore, 
A vengeful ghost, for example, was the spirit of a dead person seeking revenge for a cruel, unnatural or unjust death. In certain cultures, vengeful ghosts were women, unjustly treated during their lifetime or even tortured. In other words, this is a form of telepathy, when our higher spirit may be attracted to the perceptions of another higher spirit by a sum key phrase or event that seems to match our request and as a consequence becomes the conduit for the higher spirit's positive or negative reliving of events. Treating the hungry ghosts We will never really know whether the past life we have discovered is ours or that of another higher spirit. But there is every reason to try to treat the person with a hungry ghost, seeking revenge or relief or an end to their suffering, because such perceptions can make the experiencer ill. When memory is constructed from perceptions, the mind tags the perceptions which gave the person pain or pleasure. In this example, the person has watched a football match, but has only formed a memory of the player who scored the goal in the last few minutes of the match. The event has produced a high and intensively pleasurable experience. An intensely traumatic experience, pain in effect, also produces such indexes. And our learning, the process that produces memory, uses these index moment to help us avoid pain and obtain pleasure. But this index is available to our higher spirit and any other higher spirits that may come rootling around looking for something to match an apparent request. And to the very young mind with a keyword it may act as a search criteria. Find me a past life, any life, that has the word kiss, 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 kiss in it. And the strongest index wins.